Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my time at Porsche. Where in the last episode we uh, we kind of passed out just outside our door. Not enough energy even to drag ourselves to bed. There wasn't, which is a bit of a shame, really, when you think about it. Hello, good morning. Let's have a chat. Welcome to Porsche. Hope you like it here. Try to get to know everyone. We're very inclusive here. That is marvelous. Would you like to spa inclusively? <laughs> Uh, it would, it would seem, yes, yes, you would. Very well. Uh, fight. Oh. Uh, did you just try to headbutt me? My lord. That was a bit crazy violent, wouldn't you say? There we go. No, thanks. I mean, I say, as I challenge you to sparring, I suppose that, that I really have no place to speak about uh, being violent. Nope. Thanks, but I'd rather you didn't headbutt me, because that does look like it would hurt an awful lot. You you seem like you've got quite a, a lot of experience with headbutting. Uh, there we are. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, wow! A headbutt and then some sort of belly attack. I disapprove. I got some bruises from that one. Well, you know, I want a herb and various other things. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, that, that yeah, could have gone better, I think. Uh, hello... There is, there is a Sophie in the long grasses like a raptor. Sophie's basket. Oh, good day. Good day. Are you all right, ma'am? I'm sorry. I'm getting forgetful in my old age. I must have misplaced my basket somewhere in town, but I don't know where to look. Of course Can I'll help. help me. Naturally. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll find it for you. Where were you last? That's very kind of you. I was delivering some milk to the Porsche school. I probably left it there. Very well, I will make it my business to find it for you. But not before I have a chat with Emily. Hey, Emily. Granny made some fresh pumpkin pies. Come and buy some when you have time. I will do my best. Uh, do I have a gift worthy of Emily? Uh, would you like a basket? Uh, sure. Thanks. I hope I like it. Uh, okay. Well, apparently that was a big nope. <laughs> That's fine. Hello, Pinky. Meow. Indeed, I can clear. Uh, right. Ash, do I have any fish on me? I don't. I've got some meat on me though. Pinky, would you like a gift? Do you like meat? Oh no. <laughs> Pinky is is a non meat eating cat. But <laughs> it's ridiculous, by the way. Cats are carnivores. But fine, Pinky just doesn't like like meat that I've had in my pocket for a few days. That makes sense. Uh, right, we do need to refill feel these. I didn't realise they were out of fuel last night. That was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? There we go. Let's get them on the go. Oh, I'm out of wood. Oh, dread. Uh, okay, well, there's bl bunches of things that I, I don't have right now. Let's, uh, let's get my inventory sorted the first. So, that can be dropped off, uh, as can you, you, uh, let's, I'd actually, hmm, press right mouse button to you. No, that's just dropping in there. I thought as much. Uh, right, let's get all of those stored as well. Perfect. Perfect. Right, I would like to right click. There we go. Then I can pop that in there. Right, we got quite a lot of wood, at the very least. That's, oh, well, that's going in the, uh, the cook chest. There we are. All right, I think that, uh, that'll do. Uh, we'll drop off the bronze there, though. And... Starting to get a fair old collection there, I would say. Uh, I'll try to give the Emperor Catfish to to the cat the next time I get a chance. Or possibly also, the lo well, no, lobster meat sounds, sounds a little bit like a cat wouldn't know what to do with it. But there we are. Right, I need to grab the fiber cloth. I almost left without it. Like a derp. Right, there we are. Should be able to go and hand that in now. Right, first and foremost then. Where am I taking this fiber cloth? 
we are taking well we're gonna have to look for sophie's blanket but uh me uh okay hopefully we can find you it may be something that i can just hand in though so i'm gonna just double check because sometimes it is hello also it gives me a chance to talk to antoine dr zoo my idol every time i think of him my heart flutters that is cute but i don't know <laughs> yeah why are you telling me this Surely that should be information that, that, that you keep to yourself. Lest it get get around. Or maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want it to get around so Dr. Zhu realizes. Ah, I see. Well, I I will, I guess, tell everyone. Oh, this is going to make me into a gossip. This is a terrible plan. Ah, my lord. All right, let's go and have a quick shot. Oh, hello. Have you seen a basket around here? You mean Granny Sophie's basket? Yeah, it was right... Oh, where did it go? Oh, drat. Hmm. Toby just tossed it onto the roof. Where's Kelly he back? He said he was really strong. Double dog dead him. What? Toby? I'm sorry. You'll need to find a way to get up on the roof. <sighs> it's fine. I'm sure I'll find a way. Mostly just some falls going up the stairs and then jumping across. Uh, whoop. There we go. And a bird's nest. Can I do anything with that? No. Anything else up here that I can see? Maybe that's there to try and... Like, what? How am I even stood there? Maybe that's there to kind of prompt you to realize, oh, yeah, you can jump up these places and then find interesting things hidden all over the place. But no, that's not the case here, it would seem. All right. We have got... Uh, should we go in here? You know what? I haven't been in here before. Hello, me. I was wondering where I would find you. Not bad. This is your commission fee. Thanks. You are quite welcome. So uh, a little bit more of a chat, though. I just got a news tip. Can't tell you what it is yet. You'll have to read about it later. Well, so far, I haven't actually bought your newspaper. So, uh, sure, I'll try. Oh, Dread. Why do you always know? You know what? Ah, oh. uh, I am gonna go for this one then. You probably lied to me, didn't you? No, you didn't. You, well, you did lie, but you just didn't. Didn't. You weren't intelligent about the lie. Ah, oh, okay. I say that. I've got good instincts. No, you're probably a telepath. This whole town is full of telepaths. Why am I even playing rock paper scissors against telepaths? Can of all trades. One of Hulu Brothers. Hi, I heard about you at the fireside meeting. So how long are you going to stay here? Oh, have I not met you before? Uh, a while, probably. The life here in Portia is co so cozy. Fill it with your heart. I'm pretty sure you'll love it. Uh, well, I don't know if I've got gifts for you, so... We're going to head up. I can now pick up another commission, which is always nice. And then I'm going to have to go and hand this over to Sophie, though perhaps I can do that tomorrow. I really, really, really would like to hit the mines. Uh, not, not physically. You know, I don't want to punch the mines. Quite often during summer, due to his thick fur, I need to figure out a way to help him cool down. I will have a think, and I'll get back to you. But uh, yeah, I, I feel that punching the mines wouldn't necessarily lead to the 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 reward that I'm hoping for from the mines, namely power stones. Maybe though, who knows? All right, let's have a look. Our town is in urgent need of five sprinklers. Please help fulfill this commission. I have no idea how to even make them. Uh, three first scars. Please help. Uh, no idea how to make them. Fourteen leathers. What? Well, I mean, they can offer me a decent amount. So sure, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I guess for now. Can I have a look at this? Uh, daffodil. Uh, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm joint C. I guess that's not too bad. All things considered. Uh, wow. When do we get these given to us? Because that looks awesome. I would accept that enormously. Can I talk with you? Aircraft model was made in Walnut Grove. Very well. Hello. The Commerce Guild is always busy, but I feel like I'm taking part in the talysis of the world. I see. Well, 
Uh, what else would I check when that happens? How do I get commissions? What are the relics? How do I improve my workshop? How does my workshop affect my commissions? Uh, okay. Well, is there perhaps something up here? Or is that something that, that, that's the overall effect of that? I'm not sure. I will, I will have to have a think and hunt around for some information. Uh, then in other words, I'm going to ask Shelab, who's played this game a lot more than me. Uh, right, let's go and jump into this mine. Now, jumping into the mine is fine. Well, not into it. Jump, jumping into the mine entrance is fine. Jumping into the mine. Well, yeah, no, I think, I think, I think that makes sense. I think everyone understands what I mean if I were to say I am jumping into this mine today. All right, let's go and find the uh, the hole that we were digging the last time we were down here. Was it this? I think it was, actually. Okay, bump. Now, I'm fairly certain this was it. Let's uh, take a little bit of everything, though. There we go, and also you. There we are. Right. I would like to be down here, where there is lots of stuff. Also... No? Really? Are there no secrets here? I refuse to believe this. Ah, <gasps> there is a secret? How did you manage to escape? Not right, okay. Well, I know where I gotta go now. So, let's try and get over there. Haha! -ha. Okay, this will do. Need power stones, please. And once we get down to this secret, we'll go for another one. And, you know, also mine all the copper while I'm going down here, because I am easily distracted. Hush. You would be too, and you know it. There we are. Let's grab a little bit of everything on the way down. Make a nice big hole so I know uh, that there's decent resources down here, because I'll be able to see it from above. And I got a data disk. And some parts. Right, let's see from here. And, oh, there we go. It seems that if you scan from the location of another relic, it quite often leads to the next one. Let's get over here. There we go, right through there. Thank you. Oh, we're not that far away. We should be able to reach it fairly soon. Though the jumping in this is always a little bit awkward. Oh, really? Any power stones? Right, there should be one around here somewhere. There we go. Now we are cooking with fire. As opposed to the heat of a hairdryer. Don't try to cook with hairdryers. I mean, I suppose it would work. And it's not like I haven't been desperate enough to try and heat up uh, a pot to uh, have some tea when my kettle broke by using a hairdryer underneath the pot. But it just totally didn't work. It didn't work nearly as well as I was hoping it would work. It was, it was lukewarm at best. And as a result, the tea wasn't as delicious as it otherwise would be. Uh, right, let's find you. Oh, there we are. Very close. Marvellous. Okay, getting some progress today in the mines. I am pleased. Let's find out what you are. Please be a power stone. No. Well, I mean, it's terrible, I suppose. Uh, okay, the next nearest one would be you, I would say. So, now we're digging up then. Whoop. There we go. Keep on going straight up. Making a nice little uh, wormy cavern down here. Explorers in, in ages in the future. I'm going to come through here wondering what, what kind of creature digs tunnels like this. Well, I tell you now it is an avac. And an avac just found a power stone. Marvellous. Worm tunnels are the best tunnels. Oh, this place is going to just be so riddled with holes in a moment. I'm never going to work out where I've, I've mined thoroughly and where I haven't. Oh, it is starting to get to the point now where uh, I'm not finding. Ooh, yeah. uh, what are these? I should go show them to the research center. An eyeglass. Uh, anything else? Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. There we are. Ah, would have preferred something better, I'll be honest, but okay. Got another one just over there. There we go. We'll probably be able to get one or two more things, I imagine, before we have to uh, before we have to leave due to time. 
which is just as well because one power stone is absolutely not enough. There we go. And what is this? Uh, old parts and a data disc. Oh, I don't mind that. There we are. Almost in spite of it. There we go. Let's head all the way down, please, and thank you. Again, low on stamina now, though. Ooh, a little bit concerned. Are we going to be able to get this? I really sincerely hope so. But I'm starting to worry. No, we should be able to reach it, I think. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> dread. Oh, well, we've used all our stamina for today. Mining for... for spare parts. I guess there's worse things I could have done. But... Uh, where am I going? I'm going up, I think. Thank goodness for my game of sense of directions. If this was real life, I would never be coming back out of this mine, by the way. That would be it. Uh, oh, there we are. Well, actually, yes, I would be able to, because I'd be able to use map and E. But oh, there's much less fun involved in that. Though I'm going to do it now, because I've remembered. And no, it, I wasn't avoiding it because I wanted to change. I was avoiding it because I, well, I wasn't avoiding it. I just plain forgotten. Right, okay, well, let's have a look. Got a decent amount of things in my inventory. Uh, eyeglass, let's see, can I head to the research commission? I wonder. Uh, let's have a chat, Paulie. Hello. Man should be as strong as me. Mars? Oh, come on, he's not even close. I wonder if I'll ever get a Sky Shard t-shirt. Or if I need to be as strong as Polly before I am allowed to wear one. Now... Where would... Hello, Toby. I was thinking of getting some apples with that basket, but I... kinda accidentally tossed it onto the roof. I was going to give it back to Granny Sophie, I swear! Hmm... Also... Most terrifying smile I have seen in a long time. Oh, hiya, Sam. I can't spark. Of course I can't spark. I've not, not got any good. stamina. Be careful in the ruins. Don't expect me to save your butt every time, okay? Okay. Uh, however, I'm going to give you... Uh, this? A racket. Thanks, I hope. I like it. Uh, okay. I'm not... I don't think she's too certain about that. Nevertheless, it's cleaning out my inventory a bit. Uh, best brother, uh, open, uh, not now. I will come out and I will chat with them in a moment, but let me just quickly see if this is open. No, of course it's not. That would have been far, far too much to hope for, really, when you think about it. Oh, well. Hey, Phyllis. Dr. Shu is a great doctor. I'm studying under him to learn everything he can throw at me. And very well. I'm going to open my own clinic. It is good to have dreams. Have you ever met Gust's sister? I have. She looks so fair. She doesn't come outside very often. I've only seen her a few times. I've seen her loads. Are you actually looking? Uh, what do you like? Uh, I don't think I've got anything here that you'd be particularly interested in, but I'll, I'll give you a talisman, I guess. Thank you very much. Ooh, that was worth it. Okay. Do I have anything else to give? Um, no, I don't think I do. Much sadness. Oh, well. But now I know. Hello, Higgins. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to have a chat with Guest and Ginger. Hello. That's Sunday Fireside. Makes me sleepy. Fair enough. And... Ginger. Hello, Ginger. Guest is a great brother, but he's always worrying about me even though I'm not a child anymore. Well, I mean, as long as he's not not you using that worry as an excuse to restrict what you can do. But I kind of get the impression that, that maybe he he's a little bit overbearing. Maybe maybe always always watchful. Always always an unexpected shadow. Right. Well, we don't actually have much in the way of wood, do we? No, we do not. That is a shame. But we do have power stones, so we can. At the very least, set up the uh, the machine here to keep going. There we are. Fantastic. 
I need those plates done. Uh, in fact, is that all I have left? No, hardwood plank. So, yeah, as soon as that's done, I can set it up over there. Thank you. I'll take those and all of those and all of those as well. Uh, no, no, no. There we are. All right, let's drop these off because unfortunately I really don't have the, the fuel for the rest of this. Those I need to take to the research facility tomorrow, which is fine. Uh, we'll also have to be taking Sophie's basket to her. Three data disks is in a bad haul, to be fair. I'll keep those on me. Uh, this can be dropped off, though. Uh, that being said, actually, maybe... Let's go and set two of these... Oh, well, one of these up. Go ahead and make me, make me a bunch of glass, please. There we go. I thought I'd actually emptied out two of them. Alas, no. It wasn't meant to be. Okay, actually, let's rotate those around a little bit. Right. Well, by far the thing that is holding me back the most is not having stamina of an evening. I'm thinking I need to start making an effort to buy um, stamina replenishing items. I think that's going to be the main way forward for me. Right, can I drop off these? Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just keep them on me since so that I can uh, go fishing. Uh, sounded like something was was growling in the night there. How long on this one? Oh, it's got quite a while on it actually, so we're not going to worry about that one right now. Uh, well, there's no one around to talk to. I guess I could go and see if maybe Django's bar is open. That would be quite useful if it were. Hello, Presley. The Commerce Guild is always busy, but I feel like I'm taking part in the talysis of the world. Fantastic. I am glad. Glad for you to feel that you're being productive. Right. Is the bar open? Closed. Now. Uh, chef's choice. The Lancelot. Merlin's cocktail shrimp. What? Let's use our time to just explore the village a little bit. It is 11 p.m., so I, I highly doubt anyone's going to be active right now, but at the same time, why not, eh? Let's have a little poke around, see if there's anything we haven't explored thoroughly enough in the, in the time that we've already spent climbing over the rooftops. Ah! Almost fell down there. We have got... We did find something. Wow, okay. I wasn't actually expecting that. Painting, the lonely windmill. Have a look at you. Uh, Max Health plus 15. A pretty painting used for decorating the home. Oh, fantastic. I approve. When in doubt, explore. Clearly. Uh, it's not going to be open. Oh, actually, it's, it's not even a place I can go into. Jet down breath. Uh, okay, well... Given that, let's actually head home and pop this up somewhere. I guess I'll use my last little bit of stamina to gather some wood. There we go. Hello, Liwa. Welcome to Borsha. Uh, do I have anything I could give you a fish? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad someone appreciates my, my gifts. Uh, I, st I still need to try that fish for Pinky, though. Well, that got us the last two... Uh, Fiber cloth there, which is pretty cool. Uh, do I have enough cocoons? Let me go and check. How many cocoons do I have? Uh, I wouldn't be showing up in there anyway. Uh, Castle, let's just move that, all of that across. There we go. Cocoons. We've got six, well, I guess. All right, we'll get one at least. Let's go and grab the cotton. You know what? I think I'm going to put the cotton in the... Um, chess with all of my other uh, nature harvest items. I'm also going to take out a lot of the food items in here. We're going to see what we can do, if we can do anything with them. Very much doubt we can, but we'll, we'll see. Right. Is there anything I can do? Salty grilled catfish. If I only had two catfish, I could. Or roasted meats. Uh, sure, we'll refuel, and I'm going to go ahead and craft all five of those. Might as well. 
That is much better, though. But getting catfish is a little bit harder on the whole. So it makes sense. Uh, let's go and drop all of that off. Right, thank you. Uh, we can't use the Emperor catfish, unfortunately. But I, I'm fairly certain we'd already worked that out, actually. There we are. Now, which one was it? This one. There we go. Not too bad at all. And... Got one more plate there. Glorious. I will definitely take this bronze bar. And this bronze bar as well. There we go. We should be able to get quite a few things on the go. I'm glad that uh, I, I stay up and use the full day. Because it, it seems that you could easily not make the uh, the most out of your days. Alright, let's get all of this. I'll have that on my hotbar. I think we need five at the moment, do we not? Yeah, five hardwood planks. Very well, we should be able to get that going. Make ten of them for me, please, and thank you. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to get that all done in the, in the, the one day as well. Alright, not bad at all, I would say. Let's go and pop this up, though. Where are we going to place it? Uh, can I put it right above my bed? No, but I can put it over here. It's kind of tiny, but sure. Let's pop it right there. There we go. Make, making the space a little bit more homely. I think I'm going to try and make a, a new stone table, actually. I wonder if it'll have an accumulative effect. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and give it a try, at the very, very least. Oh, wait, no, I'd need to do it over there, wouldn't I? Uh, let's actually check. Tea table. Wooden board, iron bar, don't have it. Wooden sofa, we could do that. Small chairs. I need marble, small planter box. I could make some more of those, actually. Do I have enough marble? I'm going to have to double check that. But I do definitely have enough of this, I think. Max stamina plus two. And over here, the stone stools, max stamina. Uh, yeah. Um, see, tree sap, herbal tea, simple ointment, put a basket. Umbrella talismans, actually fairly easy to make. Shell necklaces, fairly easy to make. The umbrella, though. Two copper bars, two fiber cloth, four spines. Hmm. You know what, before we, we go, let's see if I can't make that. Grab you. Unfortunately, I don't actually have marble. I've just got the marble planks. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, let's grab that. I think we're a little bit shy. That's a shame. But oh well. Let's go and have a look. Uh, right, so... No, we can! We just had enough! Oh, fantastic! I have proof. Enormous. Uh, water bucket. Iron bars. Flowery soap. Cinnamon. Hmm. Well, at the very least, we could make a couple of these things just to uh, give out as gifts, I guess. Yeah, I like that idea. Uh, I'm going to need to grab some wooden boards. How much time is left? Not very much time at all. Uh, I've got enough wooden boards. Sure, let's grab a good the amount of all of these things. Have I got everything I need? Yes, I do. Quickly, before I pass out, go. I want to make some chairs. In fact... Uh... Sure, I'm going to make four. Quick, run, run. Run. I'm not going to have time to place them down, I don't think. Unless I do. Do I have enough time? No, I do not. Uh, quickly, get to bed! Before I pass out right in front of bed. Because we, as we've already seen, I don't have enough strength to drag myself to, to wherever of an evening. But that's where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed. In the next, I'm going to be decorating the house a little bit. Also, uh, equipping our new item. Clear enough, though, I need to be making things like talismans and umbrellas and stuff like that. In fact, how much is that worth? 71. Even that's worth 28, which is not particularly hard to make at all. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, probably the talismans are worth quite a lot then, I guess. No, they're only worth 16. Small satchel, though, worth an awful lot. Hmm. 
I may have to have a look into these. Uh, the umbrellas are fairly easy to make, though, for 71 gold, or goals. Yeah, I think we can probably uh, make a decent amount, and we're not far off being able to upgrade our uh, workbench. In fact, we'll probably be able to get the money together for that today. But uh, that'll be for the next episode. I really do hope you enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as ever, do take care, everyone. <laughs>